So this is a Smith & Wesson model 15-2. It has a pinned barrel. Uh, the serial number traces back to about 1965 or 66, I believe. And it is a very nice shooting gun. Came from uh, the same shop that I sold my um, Harrington & Richardson 930 at. When I put the 930 on consignment, I was originally trying to trade it in for this gun, but they didn't want to do it on trade, so I ended up selling the 930 outright and buying this um, Model 15-2. And this is a very sweet gun. I believe it was a police carry gun. The front of the muzzle has just a little bit of wear on it from holster, and the back strap has some wear from a holster strap going around underneath the hammer. Otherwise, it is 100% functional. The bluing is in excellent condition, and the only thing I've done to it since I bought it was put some Altamount um, rosewood grips on it. I really like the, the rich rosewood look with a blue revolver, so just enjoy the video. This is a 38 Special only, not a 357 and 38 Special. Um, I started out shooting some what I believe were 158 grain lead round nose, and then I switched to some 130 grain copper jacketed flat nose Winchester ammo. It handled everything exceptionally well. The sights on it are great, and this is a four inch barrel gun, just like my Smith & Wesson Model 617. I really prefer the 4-inch barrel over a 6-inch barrel in my revolvers. They just seem to be more symmetrical in the shape of the grip versus the length of the barrel. I really like the 4-inch barrel guns. I've had several people complain about the audio when I'm speaking and my videos getting clipped after I shoot. Um, my phone has an auto tone uh, 
function that tries to level out the sound so when I'm shooting it often cuts off my voice after I shoot while the microphone's still opening back up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.